Hello everyone, right back Altitude Scale Modeling. Got a new kit to look at. Just came in, Tamiya's new 4GT. Beautiful car. American supercar. Not very many of those. Good looking box art. Three different color schemes there. Another one here. A little bit about the car there. A little bit more about the car there. Black cat walking into the picture. So, this just came in, oh, let's see, two days ago, Friday, this is Monday. Everyone's been talking about this kit, so I wanted to look at it. There's been a few reviews already from people who get kits early. I have to buy all my stuff, so I don't get things early. That's okay, then I don't have to be biased. Brand new, still wrapped. We all know how good Tamiya car kits are. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be any different. Cat likes to chew on my sanders. Right now she's chewing on a UMP sanding sponge. Alright, let's see what's in the box. This is a smaller box than I'm used to reviewing. So we've got a body stapled to the side of the box, clear sprues, chrome, rubber wheels, one white, one gray, one black, Uh, masks, metal decals, regular decals, something else in there, instructions, and that's that. So, start with the body. Tamiya's typical stapled bags, which we all hate, but we all put up with. Beautiful, normal Tamiya white plastic. I don't see any mold lines. Seam lines. You got a tab here to remove. Other than that, there's no even any tabs to remove. Uh, depending on how well you see inside, you've got 2018 copyright date in there to remove. Other than that, it looks really good. Good looking body shape. I really do like the look of this car. I'm not much of a supercar fan, as you all know. I'm a muscle car guy. Excuse the cat while she walks away from the scene of her crime. Alright, let's look at the next white sprue. Body panels, interior tub. So if you wanted to keep it white, you wouldn't have to do any painting because there's no spiral mold, plastic molds or anything. Everything looks really good. No flash, of course. It's a brand new kit. And it's a Tamiya kit. So check out the interior tub, the nice center console with all the raised buttons, door panels, both sides. Back of the seat rests, side panels, most of you who know this car know that the, there's actually an opening from the main body to the side panel where air blows through. Alright, move something out of the way, there we go. And Now one thing that disappoints me is there is not a full engine in here. Hopefully someone will make a nice resin engine. <clears throat> Ravel has the racing version of this coming out. Or is already out. I believe it has a full engine. I mean, it's got nice top detail parts to the engine, don't get me wrong. But a full engine that you could wire and plumb and everything would be nice. Really good detail on the steering wheel. The brake discs, if you wanted you could hollow out all those holes. I'd probably just do a wash, that'll make them pop, 
Here's the vents. And here, hopefully there'll be some photo etch ones available. The seats look really nice, so let's take a look at that beautiful steering wheel. All the buttons and controls. Paddle shifters. Paddles look nice. Seats look really good. Some of the suspension parts, there's those brake discs and calipers. And a good wash will make those vents pop. There's a manifold, top of the engine, some more suspension parts. Nothing really noticeable on the back. All the ejector pins are on the back, fortunately. But yeah, it's a really nice looking steering wheel. Good looking seats. I have to see if there's any seatbelt decals in there. And here's a black underpan. Some more suspension and body panel parts. Some dashboard parts. So there's the underpan. Rear diffuser. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be carbon or not. Dashboard, top of the dashboard. There's the main screen right there. Venting for the front and the rear. This is where you'll see the engine through, that classic back hatch. There's glass for it. Fuser, underpan, body panels, windshield wipers. Here's that main part of the dashboard and the top part of the dashboard. So, again, wonderful Tamiya plastic. Tamiya's chrome is always really nice. I'm not sure if the wheels, depending on which version you do. Pictures show them all as chrome, so maybe they all are supposed to be chrome. But, Tamiya's chrome is always beautiful, subtle. Well dipped, well made. It's chrome that I never really remove. Tires. Again, your basic typical Tammy rubber tires. Let's see if we got any licensing for them. Nope, no wording, but beautiful tread. There are four, obviously. Backs are wider than the fronts, of course. Shouldn't require any cleanup. And lastly, we have clear parts. Now these, I'm going to take the staples out. They do get scratched. Such amazingly shiny clear parts. You've got indicators, you've got your windows, you've got your headlight covers. I mean, just no flaw whatsoever. And just, if you're careful, you won't even have to touch them with polish. Which is why you're right back in the bag. So, we've got a 30th anniversary commemorative letter. Talking about this product and commemorating the 30th anniversary of Tamiya. That's nice. And it's the 30th anniversary of Tamiya America, not Tamiya itself. Before I start getting letters on that, here's a little... So warning sheet. Yep. Warnings in many languages. We've got a little bit about the car again in several languages. English. I'm thinking that's German. And 
French probably. And of course, Japanese. Before we look at the instructions, let's open this one last bag here. So we've got a little decal sheet with placards, instrument gauges, indicator lights, and you've got the metal for the mirrors and the license plate. And you've got mask sets that you have to cut yourself because that's what Tanya does. They are not cut, or are they? These are cut. These are die cut masks. Very good touch. And these are the regular decals with the four color stripes. So you can pick which color you want. You've got the stripes for them and you have extra stripes in case you screw up. So what are these, a uh, metallic Ford logo? Nope. So this Ford logo here fits into one of these groupings there. So, nice little bits. And get rid of these staples. See my collection of staples is growing. So they don't want to ruin the decals because they don't know when I'll build this. I'll do a review of the Ravel one soon. It is, like I said, the racing version. And move some staples out of the way. We have instructions. Tools needed, warnings, tools needed, and you're going to start with all the body panels. And of course, building your car, you're going to want to do that anyway because you want to paint it and let it dry before you do anything else. Rear body panel, side panels, doors. Well, the doors are on there. The, what are those? Those are the back fenders, it looks like. More body panel parts. You want to check all this to make sure the pa panels you're putting on actually need to be painted the color of the body. Or else you're going to be masking. Uh, we've got headlight covers, attaching the headlights, more body parts, painting the windows. You've got the masks, of course. Windshield wipers, inserting the windows, of course, after everything's painted. Back window, you should make this just flat black. I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, it looks flat back in the pictures. Front suspension. Front uprights. Attaching the rear uprights. I didn't see any poly caps in here. Oh, poly caps are in with the tires. Right there. Because you have poly caps for all those. And here it says to score the polycap, which is something I've never done before. Attaching the suspension to the floor pan, doing the interior, steering wheel decals, seats. You have to do your own seat belts, but there's many ways to do those. Lots of tutorials online. The engine top. Putting the engine in, putting the floor pan in. Doing the wheels, attaching the wheels, attaching the metal to the rear, painting. And there you go. Decals. Simple, easy. Looks like it's going to be a nice, fun, typical, wonderful, Tamiya, simplistic build. So, someday I'll build it, but there's going to be a lot of other people building it before me. I'm still hoping an engine will come out. So thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. Nice new car build. And remember, sit your ass in the seat and build a model.